Hi guys. So I always get emails about um, friends and friendships and not having any friends. Um, so um, I wanted to touch on this topic with you guys and just talk about it um, for anybody who wants to listen. If you don't want to listen, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about not having any friends. Um, I was discussing last night as well with somebody about not having any friends. So I just wanted to make a video and, you know, more people can watch it rather than me um, replying to so many individual emails. So not having friends. There's many reasons you might not have friends. Um, maybe you work on sociable hours, um, maybe like me, you work from home, so you don't really get a chance to meet people. Um, maybe your spiritual path has brought you to a place where a lot of people are exiting your life and all that, although that's a positive, it can lead to um, a feeling of... Um, longing or loneliness that you want to um, meet new people and they just aren't there yet because you're still dealing with some things um, on your spiritual path. So maybe uh, spirituality is a reason why you don't have um, many people in your life or friends have exited your life. You know, you're not putting up with people using you anymore. So they've exited your life. Um, Maybe you felt like you don't fit in. I'm a Scorpio and I like all sorts of weird things. And um, usually there's very few people with the same interests as me because, you know, I I love looking at all things and um, exploring all different sorts of possibilities. So some people may even feel like I'm a weirdo and I just don't fit in. And I always say to people, well, nobody's meant to fit in. In my eyes, we're all meant to stand out, you know. Um, we're all unique and, you know, if everybody looked the same, it's a song, we'd get tired of looking at each other. Um, so I do believe, you know, we're all supposed to have that uniqueness where we all stand out and we're not all supposed to fit in a box. That's um, conformity and something I strive to get away from. I really don't want to be conforming to any sort of agenda. I'm sort of, I've been like a conspiracy theorist throughout my life and all sorts of crazy things anyway. So, you know, maybe you just don't seem to fit in with other people and I don't believe you're meant to. Or maybe as, as you've grown on your spiritual path that your interests have changed, you're no longer interested in partying going clubbing and things like that maybe your friends are now married and doing things with their significant other or maybe all of the above i mean all of the above has happened to me at some point in my life you know i'm getting on a bit <laughs> so yeah the point is like we're getting to is like not having friends and for me um being in solitude as well is very important. It's just as important as having friends. But having friends is also good for your well-being. Um, so if you are interested in having friends and you don't have any, um, you know, you really need to make an effort to annoy me. Sorry, some workmen just decided to come at this moment in time. <laughs> it's life, it happens, you know, this is real. I always tell you, I don't edit. We just keep it real here. Um, so, yeah, where was I? If you want friends but don't have any, um, and it's hard making them as an adult. I mean, when you go to school, you're sort of forced into it. Um <laughs> You know, not forced, but <laughs> I guess as a Scorpio, I'm like, I was forced to have friends. <laughs> but um, it's easier when you're younger, isn't it? Because, you know, everybody's more their authentic self, I guess, I believe. Um, 
we don't have to have the same beliefs, but I just believe we're more authentic as children. Um, so you really need to make an effort, especially if you have had no friends for a long time and it's affecting you emotionally and making you feel down and things like that. And, you know, you just want to be like, I just want somebody to talk to. And then we end up accepting people who aren't really that good for us because we're at that place now of lack when we want some. So I definitely, before you want to get to that place of like lack and you'll accept anybody, I really want you to be like, I'm going to make a conscious effort to make friends and get out there and combat my loneliness rather than, um, you know, we're in an age where we sit behind a computer and everything is now, 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 now. And, you know, like we can meet somebody and because in an instant connection, we sort of give up because we expect it to be just everything instant. Nobody wants to work on things anymore. If people have an argument in relationships, I'll go to the next one. There's how many people in the DMs waiting for you to mess up, you know? So when first meeting new friends, just realize, you know, you might have to meet them a few times before you know, you build a connection because a lot of people in this day and age have trust issues just because of what I just previously said. There's people in the DMs ready to, you know, take your woman, take your man, take your place, basically. So, yeah, there's a lot of trust issues. So you've got to build that connection and build that trust with somebody. So don't expect it to be instant. Maybe meet up for a coffee, even if it doesn't go so well the first time. <clears throat> try again because you know have you ever met somebody and you can't stand them at first and then you know later on you're great friends uh it may be because you know you so like that you actually clash um but yeah give it a chance more than just you know well i met them i didn't really get the right vibe i feel like a lot of people have their guard up these days so you have your guard up they have their guard up so you know, the energy you're sending to each other is very confusing. So you were like, no, I, I didn't get the right vibe from them. So I, I don't feel like I'll make friends with them. So, yeah, I really think you, like I said, we're in these times. Go with the times then, okay? If you're forced to, you can't beat them, join them. Get online. There's so many things online, so many chat rooms, so many groups. Um, not even just for dating, you know really about building a support network for yourself of people of the same vibration, the same interests as you. Um, so maybe you like to debate or you like to learn new things. There'll be people out there like you. I really found it difficult making friends as an adult with other females, okay? Until I came to this channel, and the reason I started the channel was because I was like, there is people like me out in the world, okay? There's just not me, okay? There's people who are like-minded um, and have, you know, information and experience or whatever to offer me too. And in my everyday world, I didn't really have an opportunity to meet other people. And when I did... Like I was saying, everybody with their guard up and me expecting throughout my life, well, women just don't tend to like me. Then that's what energy I'm sending them. So they, we're both not having a real opportunity to make friends, if you see. So, yeah, I, I really feel like get out there on the Internet. You know, you can reach further than ever before now. We can reach all parts of the world now with the Internet. So, you know... It is a blessing and a curse, the internet. So use it as the blessing as well, you know. Re get out there and just make an effort to at least make one new friend. Um, because even if that friend's across the world, if you get to share with somebody who actually gets you, I feel like that's very important for your soul. Very reassuring. Even if you just get to write each other these long emails or, you know, you get to exchange in numbers and text each other. You know, I feel like it can do wonders for you guys if you don't have friends and that's what you're looking for. 
if you're on a spiritual path and all your friends are at the moment exiting your life, it's probably because, you know, they was taking a lot but not giving too much. And when you decided enough was enough and, you know, started putting your foot down and started um, taking your energy back, you may have seen these people exit. And it can be hurtful um, because you've been friends with these people many years but it can also be very clearing. And like I said, if you're just not into the same stuff they're into anymore and you're trying to elevate yourself, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? You know, solitude, I do believe, is very important as well. Time on your own to reflect, to love yourself, to give yourself that time, to pamper yourself, do whatever for yourself, self-care, self-love, okay? I'm all about promoting that on my channel. Like, if you have got people just taking and taking and taking it, but not making a deposit, you know, you very soon go empty. I've done this. This is why I know, you know, I've been around people who will take and take and take when it comes to helping me out or being there for me or just even listening to me. They've not been there. So... You know, I found, I think I spoke about it in um, my video, my ex didn't return in the retrograde. Um, I spoke about it in that video, like where I found that people was just exiting my life. Like once I'd stand up for myself and say, no, I'm not going to do that for you. But it shouldn't be a big deal, but it turned into a big deal. And then they didn't want to be friends anymore. So it's people showing you their true colours. What I found was, okay, I now have people of the same vibration as me coming in, on the same path as me coming in. Um, so once you're clearing out, you know, these friendships or relationships, um, you know, it will get like lonely at times. It's going to hurt when it heals as well. Um you know, so I found that once you make space in your life for better, better will come in. So if you are on this spiritual path, you know, don't worry. You could because you could just be like, well, I've lost my best friend. I've been with them for years. But you may look back and think, well, yeah, I was her best friend or his best friend. But really and truly, he wasn't mine. He wasn't doing all for me. And let me tell you something, while you're on this spiritual path, getting your life together, you ain't missing out on anything, okay? You ain't missing out on anything. You ain't missing out on no parties. You ain't missing out on people trying to drain your energy. You ain't missing out on anything. You're getting your life together for you. Because we have one life. Nobody else is going to get it together for you. Only you can. So don't believe that you are missing out on anything while you're getting your life together. No, 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 no. That's not the case. You know what goes on to, at the parties or the clubs or whatever. You've probably been before. So you really aren't missing out on anything. You're going to go there. You're going to get drunk or tipsy. You're going to come home the next day and just feel like, well, what did I do? You know, what did I actually achieve on that night? Yeah, I got drunk, I had a little fun, but then the next day, you know, it's taking up time that you don't really want to waste. You could you could have been like, I'm going to get my eight hours sleeping. I'm going to work. I'm going to prep for my new career. I'm going to prep for my new business. Um, you know, I want to be creating money or even just creating, um, rather than spending money to do what? To be like objectified, you know? You're gonna spend all your money, look your best, and you're gonna pick up and meet people who are of a lower vibration, who, aren't really out to, they're out to have a good time, 
and there's nothing wrong with that but then when you fall in love um with somebody who's out to have a good time then who can you really blame and i do a lot of self-reflection and a lot of um accepting of the blame because i can change my life you know nobody put me in handcuffs and dragged me at gunpoint to go to a party i'd be like yeah i'll go to the party you know so i've been there i talk about things that i've been through and that i've done and i talk about like the examples mainly taken from my life um, i'm not judging anybody else's life i'm taking examples from my life to um tell you what i've been through um and hopefully maybe shine a light put an arrow in a direction that you want to be going or give you some confirmation and say yeah you're on the right track yeah you do lose friends while going through this and that's what today's video is about it's yes this does happen to everybody because you're no longer taking people's rubbish anymore then they can no longer control you they're no longer draining you so they're gonna you know try drain somebody else if they were such a great friend they wouldn't be leaving your life they'd be working with you through anything how you would have worked through them with anything and believe me it can be just out of the blue like what i don't even know what happened and my friend exited the building so quick I've had so many emails about this just the last few days and it's as we're going through this major shift, okay? Um, we are ascending, you are doing the work and, you know, we're in the time of Aquarius where we've got this higher learning going on. So it's like we're having shift after shift, you know, um, information coming in and everybody now having access to it. And everybody now wanting to ascend and realizing, I feel like there's such a large amount of people waking up on the planet um thanks to the internet as well um so and like i said we're in the age of aquarius so it is all about that higher learning there is going to be like masses of people waking up so if your friend or relationship whatever um has exited your life hopefully they go through an awakening and you may even come back together at some point but right now, if it's not best for you in your best interest, you don't need it in your life, the path that you're on. Okay, what's meant for you will always gravitate towards you. What vi vibration you're on, you can gravitate that towards you. You can pull it towards you, okay? So if you're going to the club and lowering your vibration and things like that, drinking, and I'm, I'm not saying don't drink, I like to drink sometimes. Um, you know, so I'm not often, but I, I've drank and I like to drink sometimes. So I'm not trying to put anybody down. I'm saying, you know, if we are holding ourselves accountable for our actions, then we can direct our future a lot better, a lot better here. And that's all I'm trying to get across that, you know, if you are directing your future to a higher vibration, a better place, then you will call in better people. And you've got to allow people in as well. Don't be just like, you know, I can't make friends because I'm a 45 year old woman and you know, there's just, I can't find anybody now, my time's done. No, no, it's not. You could live another how many, 50, 60 years, and you want to be alone for 50, 60 years? No. You know, take, live your life. Enjoy your life. That's what spirituality is about. People think it's about, you know, putting yourself in a box it's so far from it it's taking yourself out of the box out of conformity and actually living for the day 
okay i'm always telling people get out in nature and just walk around look at the trees look at the world with new eyes look at the sky and just see what's the beauty around you and see the good in people if you can't see the good in people around you be the good person you know and just really bring some positivity into the world and just be about i'm a co-creator i'm creating my life I'm going to live the life I want to live. I cannot conform. I'm too much of a weirdo, if you want to say. Um, I can't work nine to fives. I have. I have. I've done my time. That was my calling at one time. It's no longer my calling to give up my life. We're forced into schools and we're forced into education and then we're forced into jobs. When are you actually going to live your life? And I'm not saying that education isn't important. Like I said, I love learning about everything. Doesn't matter whether it's wrong or right or whatever. It's not. I don't have a judgment on that. I just love learning so many different opinions and things like that. So I I love it. I. I'm all for education, but his story is his story. So that's that's how I view things. I'm very much like, okay, this was told by a certain person. So that's their point of view. We all tell things from our perspective, whether it was meant intentionally or not. It's just, we all have a perspective and throughout our life, our perspective changes. So let's say somebody wrote a history, uh, a book, many years ago of their perspective of that time they may have aged 10 years and have a whole new different range of perspectives on their own perspective <laughs> so i hope you understand what i mean there it's just as we grow you know our perspective grows with us and broadens hopefully um so yeah if you are finding that you have no friends and it's getting to you, then I want you to make an effort to actually socialize because I don't want you to step into that feeling of lack and not know where it's coming from. Cause you could be like, for example, uh, you know, to include my channel, like oh, I'm over my ex, but you don't know what's lacking from your life. It could be just this positive support of friends because a lot of the time we on my channel as well we're dealing with family issues it's not just romantic issues so we do have um issues with people and their family so you know you need a good support group because sometimes you need somebody just to um say hi do you want a coffee and run and when I'm telling you, you know, speak positive and speak positive, it's okay to run and get it out of yourself, okay? Get it out of you, you know, allow yourself that time and then close it off, close it down and then tell the universe that was just me letting it out. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to focus on. This is what I'm creating for my life. That's what I'm trying to put out there for you guys to be a co-creator and manifest into your life here. Um, what you actually desire and this is why i always tell you first look at what you actually want so if you want friends you have to go out and get them okay you have to let people in and like i said a lot of people are dealing with trust issues here so i totally get it remember they are too so the energy you may pick up from somebody straight away may not be the correct energy because we're all messed up at the moment so please, 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 if you don't have any friends and it's getting to you, don't worry about it, but do make an effort to get out there and make friends. Like I said, if you're a little bit shy or a little bit of an introvert, get online. If you're not so shy and you find it easy to make friends, go hang out at a coffee shop. Go do what you're interested in because then you're going to find like-minded people um, you don't have to pretend to be interested in something else. Actually, go focus on what you're interested in. 
okay so like you're interested in tarot cards because you're here you know go to a blog write a blog okay you can create this you can manifest this do it put yourself out there because that's that leap of faith that's the fool okay so trust that there is people who are going to be interested in the same things as you that's why you've got to be more authentic to yourself not people pleasing you've got to really and truly what am i interested in like me if, if you're a total weirdo i look up all sorts of things aliens i watch forensic files i watch crazy things <laughs> well i used to um i don't watch tv so much now but i used to watch like things like that um archaeod uh, you know um i used to watch what's it called like time team or something um i can't go a day without watching things about egypt i definitely think my last life was in Egypt. <laughs> but yeah, I can't go a day without thinking about Egypt. So, you know, I'm looking up these things. Say, even if I looked up a YouTube video on something about Egypt, okay? What I'm interested in. And then I get talking to people in the comments. You guys can do that too. And just say, hey, you want to exchange emails? There's nothing to lose, okay? whether you're not shy or whether you are shy, this is a, a sure way to find people who have the same interests as you, okay? YouTube is actually a beautiful platform because we can sort of find what we like and the algorithms will suggest things to us that we like and it will also suggest to other people who like it. So you're automatically grouped with people who like the same things as you. So it should make easier. So if somebody makes a comment and you have the same interests, or even if you don't, I prefer things where I can sort of debate with somebody. So we're both getting more information, not like somebody I'm just going to agree with all the time, but somebody who I can have a different opinion with and say, no, I believe this. That's my sort of thing. Um, <laughs> but like I said, I'm a weirdo. Um, so yeah, guys, please come back to me and tell me, you know what? Today I'm going out and I'm going to make a friend. You know, somebody new, somebody on the other side of the world, and I'm going to find out about their life and their culture, and I'm going to expand my knowledge on other things. That's what I'm like. So I said, I always make suggestions on my life experience. I, I'm not trying to put it on anybody else. I'm saying what I like, and hopefully it may resonate with you. It may not. You can say, Stephanie. I don't even like what you're saying. I love you guys the most. Because then I get to say, well, guess what? This and this and this. And then I get to look at things from your point of view too. You know? So do you see what I'm doing here? Okay, guys. So, yeah. You're not alone if you don't have friends. Many people don't. And many are looking. So, guys, connect connect to each other you know a lot of you share your stories and that's why i've always kept my comments open because i feel like it's quite healing that you guys can share your stories when somebody feels the most alone and they can just type on a comment like that's what i went through it kind of can bring relief and you know a little bit more hope and things like that that's why i leave the comments open even when there's people acting crazy in the comments Sometimes it makes me a little crazy back, but hey ho. So guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Good luck.